All right, so today we're going to be learning about solving equations again, but rather than it just being one step, like adding a number together or just dividing to get the variable by itself, we're going to be taking two steps. So it's going to involve maybe a combination of addition and multiplication or subtraction and division. So there's going to be many different ways that we do this. Um, so let's take a look at this example. 7x plus 5 equals negative 9. So the first thing we need to look at is look for like terms. So like terms are terms that are had the same characteristics. So either they're both just numbers like 5 and negative 9, for example. 5 and negative 9 are both like terms because they are, don't have any variables in them. They're just simply integers. They're just simply numbers. So we can combine those two things together. And 7x is the only term of its kind because it's the only term with a variable in it, so it doesn't have any like terms. But 5 and negative 9 are like terms. So what we do with that is we have to get them together. We have to combine them. Now notice how I have to have this equal sign right here. If I have an equal sign involved, that means I have to uh, do the inverse operation in order to move the symbol. So I have positive 5, but in order to move it, I have to do the opposite, which means I have to subtract 5 from both sides. So when I subtract 5 from the left and move it to the right, 5 minus 5 equals nothing, so they cancel out, and so I have 7x on the left. Now looking at the right side of the equation, I have negative 9 minus 5. And again, here's a little jingle I like to sing, same sign, add and keep. So, that, so they're both negatives, negative 9 and negative 5, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. So I'm going to do some additional work over here. 9 plus 5 equals 14. But remember, it was negative and negative, so we keep the sign when we write it, and so it's 7x equals negative 14. All right, so we got our first step done. We have the variable on one side, and we have the constant on the other, or just the number on the right. And so we still have to get x by itself. So we took care of one step, but x still has something in front of it, so we have to keep going. And yes, it is that 7 in front of x we have to get rid of. When two terms are that close together, the 7 and the x, that means multiplication. And again, I have to go across the equal sign, so that means I have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides. On the left, 7 divided by 7 is 1, so all I have to write is x. And I have negative 14 divided by 7. And when we're dealing with negatives, when we're dividing or multiplying, a negative divided by a positive is a negative answer. And then 14 divided by 7 is 2. So my final answer for this problem is x equals negative 2. So two different steps involved here, but we got our variable by itself and got the answer equals 2.